Hey guys, I'm just uh, doing some cutting here. This video is going to have a lot of noise in the back because the shop is still active. But I'm cutting a uh, half inch thick hard ox plate, which can't be cut with that cold cut saw that I had one of the earlier videos. So I'm cutting inch and a half wide strips. And one of the problems you're going to find when you're cutting strips of metal with a torque is because of the heat affected zone, the material will banana really bad on you. Uh, both as a ski and just as a banana curve. So the trick to uh, that when you're torch cutting something, and this is valid for hand cutting or even plasma cutting sometimes, is if you weld a piece just with some tack weld to your strip of material, uh, that will keep it from bananaing and from skiing. But on your start edge, you weld a bridge across it. So it can cut all the way through. Now a lot of people will leave a half inch stitch at the beginning, cut their strip, and then cut that stitch either with the torque or with a 040 disc is the other way to do it. But by creating a bridge like this with the piece of angle iron behind it, and then the bridge at the beginning, you get a lot straighter cut and your piece doesn't banana on you. Um, the equipment that I'm running here is a mimeograph table torque that I made about 25 years ago. And so this is just an electromagnet with a follower on the top of here. And that the torch does the work. This is how it was done long before plasma cutters ever existed. Uh, it's still done this way in some field service and some job shops. I still use the hell out of my unit, which like I say, I built 25 years ago. But the main advantage of a torch like this is with the proper tips in this thing, I can cut six inch thick steel. So it doesn't matter whether I'm cutting quarter inch thick or half inch thick or two inch thick or six inch thick, uh, this thing will do it. I can dial in the speed and cut nice clean cuts with the torch. But I just figured that might be interesting for some of you of how do you cut a strip of steel uh, without ending up with a heck of a bow or a bend in it. And by welding that back piece in there, that's how you do that. But uh, this is our mimeograph table torch at Minnesota Implement. Please check out my other videos at minnesotaimplement.com. And uh, like us, share us, uh, and keep watching. Thank you very much.